It's a Bumblecast Mini, sponsored by Hero Squad. Sega and Marvel decide to collaborate to make a Stealth the Hedgehog comic. Since no one else is in the room to write the story, they ask you instead to put context. <laughs> <laughs> to put context who Stealth is, he is that one Spider-Man AU of Sonic that appeared only in Archie number 149. For the sake of the question, keeping it in theme because in multiverse, let's call this version Earth 1991-06-23. Thankfully, this number isn't taken. Going back to the question, how would you write his story? What would his universe be like? Who is who? No need to make it identical to Archie's version. Go nuts on this. Uh, if we're going to do the kind of brain dead, mash together <laughs> everything into a spider. Pastiche of Spider-Man, thing, yeah. <laughs> I don't want to do the lazy route because having you know watched both into and across the Spider-Verse, what they do to punch up some of the alter Spider-Men is so good. Yeah. It's like, this is what they should have done from the get go. And here we have it's, it's Sonic, but he's a Spider-Man. Great. And there's Robotnik. He's a goblin. And arg. <laughs> maybe have a little fun with it. Like maybe we can pull out the old Koro Koro material and Nikki Parker is the geeky alter persona of stealth the spider sonic sonic spider sonic spider there we go yeah. sonic is more of an adjective and you know once he dons the suit he's got all the moves and all the quips and all the confidence that is kind of name brand sonic which is very you know parallel to what spider-man is anyway and then you've got mild manner nikki parker off to the side who you know no one would suspect could be the wall running blue speedster. Um, beyond that, I mean, part of the problem is so many of Peter's rogues gallery are animal themed that, and so much of Sonic's cast are animals. Yeah. You get weird crossovers and it's like, can we do that? Does it become weird? Like, do we have Felicia Hardy, the black bat? <laughs> it's just rouge. <laughs> I mean, it's, uh, it's there. Yeah, yeah, it's just rouge. Rouge is just black cat, but it's black bat instead. It's fine. Don't think about it too hard, Ian. <laughs> do, do you make a misdirect and you assume Vector's going to be the lizard, but it's actually Charmy? <laughs> Surge is Electro. There you go. Although uh-huh. this, is, this is Archie, so we can't really, I guess we can't really do that. They said go nuts. Let's go nuts. Okay. <laughs> no need to make it identical to Archie's version. Okay, well, okay. <laughs> I mean, on the one hand, there's already the kind of green Robotnik or Robo Goblin or whatever you want to call it. <laughs> so I guess that means we can just take Big and put him in the place of uh, Fisk. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Big the Kingpin. Hell yeah. All right. The Big Pin. The Big Pin. <laughs> I run this city whether it knows it or not. <laughs> Uncle Chuck dies. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> but oh, yes. Oh, man. Who is Eddie Brock in this scenario? <laughs> Shadow. Is it Shadow? All right. That's kind of boring. I, mean, but... I know, but he's the black and edgy variant on the main character. Yeah, that's true. I guess you got it. And his powers come from space, technically. He is a space alien, to a degree. Okay. Well, guess you got it. Who's Carnage, then? Jeez. Uh, Infinite? Yeah, I guess so, huh? I mean, the even edgier, try-hard knockoff of the <laughs> dark doppelganger? Yeah, yeah. Hmm. <laughs> We really want to go into the the, the the talk about who's Gwen and who's Mary Jane. No, no, please no. Because <sighs> I know no. this is not going to end well. E- e- either one of them being either one of them would be. We don't really need to d- d- delve into that one. You can fill in your own head cannon on that one. <laughs> Take your pick, chat. Do you want Amy to have her neck snapped, or do you want her to have her love sacrificed to the devil? You lose either way. 
And then same with Sally. <laughs> Although Mephilus probably would make a fun stand in for Mephisto. <laughs> well, I mean. I mean, he would lean into it. Yes, Sonic. Like half- Sell me the love to bring back your geriatric character that, that we haven't quite cast yet. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, man. <laughs> With great lampoon crossover between licenses comes great responsibility. Brum, brum, brum. It sucks. Like, dude, you're getting too metaphysical, even for me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm trying to think of who. Oh, man. Who would Knuckles be? Scarlet Spider. <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah. You're right. Yeah, that makes sense. All he does is he just wears that torn sleeve blue hoodie. Nothing else. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, oh, no. Let's see. Is Black Doom just the symbiote? <laughs> I didn't really follow all the new lore that they added to the symbiotes, but I guess he'd be Null when you get down to it. Was that his name? I don't know. Yeah, Primordial. apparently it is. Primordial dark being who forged the original symbiotes. Yeah, something like that, I guess. Huh. Jeez, who else? Who's missing? Who else? <laughs> what other spider roles do we need? I guess that would make, if we're going to do this one to one, that means Silver's pigeonholed into being Miguel O'Hara. Oh, yes, he has to be. <laughs> oh, dang it. Oh, I don't want that. No. No. <laughs> no, please, 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 <laughs> please, no. Oh, uh, no. So <laughs> Let's not talk about who Morbius is going to be either. No, <laughs> no. Oh, uh, no. Well, I think we thoroughly ruined this concept. You Let's know, move you on. Know, you know what? Regardless of what could happen, at least Amy could be Spider-Gwen. That'd be pretty cool. Yeah, all right. I'm into that. <laughs> I'm down. But that would make her Gwen in the main timeline. And Yeah, well. <laughs> yeah. Or she could be Spinnerette. I don't know. <laughs> you decide down in the comments below. <laughs> uh, oh, wow. All right. Well, we've uh, we've spent a lot of time on this one question. Let's move on to the next one. <laughs> Does Surgeon Kit have an official height? According to some concept art, Kit was made to made bigger to match closely to Tails's height. So I wonder, are they ident- identical to Sonic and Tails, or are they different? And what about weight? Identical or slightly different? Uh, I don't know if we have hard numbers, but I imagine they're comparable. Like if there's a difference, it's in like centimeters and grams and. Typically, the Sonic characters are nice round numbers, so <laughs> I'm I'm going to take a wild guess and say Surge is like comparable to Sonic in height and weight, and Kit is to Tails. And before you ask, but they've got those endoskeletons. Yeah, Starline made it super lightweight, or I don't know, they're comparable to bone weight, or he scooped out all the unnecessary organs. I don't know. Whatever makes you happy. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <laughs> Or miserable, as the case may be. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> don't worry about uh, how long Serge's hair is, either. That's that's totally different. I've seen people calling Kit's pack as the Hydra Pack. Strangely, it seems it was a fan name all along. Short in a bridge context, the, weekly, the wiki article calls it the Hydra Pack and left a reference of the name in one of the Imposter Syndrome comics on concept arts. However, I checked them and saw no mention of the name Hydra Pack, unless I'm blind or too fast. So I want to ask, does the water pack have a real name? If not, would you accept the name Hydra Pack given to it? I would have to dig out that art myself. Because I don't I don't remember settling on a name, but I don't think it really came up in dialogue anyway. But I mean Hydro Pack makes enough sense. I don't want to commit to that because you know technically can't take a fan idea and apply and blah blah blah. But maybe it's somewhere in the fan art and I just have don't remember it. You mean the original? I don't know. The original art, not fan art. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Sorry, so the concept art. Yes, yes. Um, I don't know. We're we're both clueless on this one. Mm. Yeah, yeah. I'm totally clueless on it. Let's see. Hold on. It does not seem to have a name from what I can see on this sheet. So I've been shown. 
or maybe Evan and Mauro said it online somewhere and that got conflated to the concept art. Maybe. But that would require me to like hunt through all their Tumblr and <laughs> social media to find that one post from God knows how long ago now. So eh. somebody will find it if it exists. Somebody will. Do you think the reason why Classic Sonic never speaks is because he only knew how to make hedgehog sounds like chirping, squeaking, and hissing? Real reason was it was a stylistic choice at the time. Yeah, I think they were uh, scared of making the fan base angry by choosing a voice for Classic Sonic that wasn't one of the voices that uh, was one of the old ones. And said they made them angry by having him not speak, but all the other classics doing so. Yeah, well... Oh, well. Crossover between Sonic Boom and Dragon Ball Z abridged. Would Knuckles and Goku get along well? What about Shadow and Vegeta? Krillin? Wait, no. Better idea. Knuckles and Nappa. Go nuts! I see many hilarity and possibilities with this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, Knuckles would get along with just about everybody. He's fairly simple and affable. And most of the Boom crew, to be honest, would be pretty, you know, open and friendly. And likewise for the a bridged crew. They're generally good people, maybe with their hangups. <laughs> and then, you know, Vegeta aside, Vegeta is all sorts of problems banded, banded together in one. Uh, definitely seeing Krillin and Knuckles bonding brotastically the fastest. Yeah. <laughs> Bulma's just happy that Tails is around so she can talk to someone on her same level. And because this is Boom Tails, they're able to be sarcastic and snark about others not keeping up with them in their conversation. <laughs> Anything else? I'm working on it. Okay. If anything, Sticks might get, be the best compatriot to Goku since they both kind of live out in the woods and live off the land. And you know, he confirms her suspicions that Aliens have existed on Earth for who knows how long. <laughs> yeah. And he's, you know, a straight shooter. He just lays it all, all out on the line. Yeah, there's aliens. The whole intergalactic prospector system out there. Freeze's a real jerk. Promised me two pizzas, and then he died. <laughs> pizzas. <laughs> That's all? Or more? Maybe instead of Napa and Knuckles... It's Nappa tempts Amy with stardom, post-ghost Nappa. <laughs> you got it all, kid. You got the looks. You got the move. You got the personality. I can make you a star. She might fall for it. Briefly. Briefly, yes. Nappa's a smooth talker, even if he sounds like he smokes every day. <laughs> yeah. What about comedy chimp in that scenario? <laughs> Nappa. And comedy chimp. <laughs> oh boy. Who is this chimp? He keeps leaving voicemails. He's a hack. Yep. <laughs> to be perfectly honest, the scope of this is intimidating. Mm. Because you're right, it could be a gold mine for hilarity, but it's like, I don't know if I'm smart enough to do this one. <laughs> I think you need more time than just what we have here on a mini to do it. <laughs> yeah, maybe, maybe, but yeah, there, there's defi it's definitely fertile ground. It's yeah. just, this one needs to be cultivated. Definitely, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, let's talk about an internet classic that's iconic. ASDF movie. Made by the one and only Tom Ska, with a total of 14 of them from August 10th, 2008 to June 25th, 2021, unless this gets outdated. Have you both heard or seen any of them? If not, basically it's a series of short skits featuring stick figure characters. The humor varies from light to dark. Look out, he has a nose! Oh wait, no he doesn't. <laughs> I'm trying to remember. This sounds very familiar, but I'm like, totally... It was like... Okay. Early flash animation, but all very, very fluid and good. Right. Okay. There we go. Lots yeah, of yeah, short yeah. surrealist sketch comedy. And frankly, the I Like Trains Kid song and Mind Turtle still rock. <laughs> yeah. All right. Like Mind Turtle, remember. especially. that That's a good bop. I do you remember I Like Turtles? That's, yeah. 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 Okay. <laughs> 
been a long time since I've seen it, but can't imagine why you would like Mind Turtle, I'm being told. <laughs> <laughs> Hello! Boom! <laughs> I'm a simple man of simple pleasures. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> I remember briefly once in a Bumblecast that you mentioned that your middle name was James, I think. But since I have bad memory, could you reconfirm it? You are getting us confused. My middle name is James. And my first name is James. Yes. <laughs> James and James. Of James, James, James and James. Do the fusion dance and we'll be Jimmy Jam. <laughs> that is correct. Yes, yes. Ian's first name is not Ian. Ian isn't Ian. He's lying to you. <laughs> <laughs> Blow your mind. Boom. Everyone's everyone's mind is blowing right now in the chat. Will we ever have an answer to the many prime contradictions? In episode one, Sonic mentions that Badniks with not flickies is new, even though Heroes and many other games show us that's not the case. Unless this takes place prior to Heroes, which I'm wondering how is Shadow just roaming around. This makes no sense. I'm looking too hard on this, am I? You did say you will reveal when it takes place when the show is done anyway, so I fear nothing. I have nothing to suspect, right? <sighs> <laughs> it's one of those things where it'll have to be slotted somewhere. And I made great pains to flag a lot of stuff early on. And a number of other parties did what they could to flag inconsistencies. And some of it was just flat out ignored. So the there's a lot of moving parts. There's a lot of stuff that kind of just gets lost in the shuffle, especially on a television schedule. So I don't think there will be one singular perfect way to brush aside the lack of consistency with Sonic Prime, but it wasn't for lack of effort. I'll tell you that much. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And it kills me because the voice cast did such a fantastic job and the art team really did, I think, a stellar job for a you know CG cartoon on that tight of a schedule. It is a good looking, good sounding show. Mm -hmm. Well, it wasn't originally meant or conceived to be part of the mainline Sonic canon originally. That that mandate didn't come down until later. So uh, I am under the un it's my understanding that that was always in the background, but and that's kind of why I was brought on early as a consultant. Okay. But, you know, <laughs> a consultant's position really is you can lead a horse to water, but you can't make him drink it. <laughs> I suppose, I suppose. All right, is Unleashed, the Wii PS2 version of Sonic Unleashed, alongside Unleash HD, the PS3 and Xbox 360 version, are they canon alongside each other, similar to how Colors DS is canon alongside Colors Wii? Also, is the mobile version of Unleashed non-canon? Yes, that version exists. You're welcome for having this knowledge. <laughs> I would have to like go through and review the differences between the two. But I would say the HD version is like the base canon. <laughs> and then the Wii noisy. and uh, PS2. Wii or mobile versions, anything that they have that matches, sure. And anything that adds to it without contradicting, sure, why not? And anything that directly contradicts, you can ignore, maybe? Question mark? Yeah, probably. I don't know, man. What I do know is we have one last thing to do, and uh, I'm sorry for doing this to you, Ian. Apparently, I'm the one <laughs> oh, who boy. I'm the one who did this. I put the I put the idea in someone's head, and then here's here's someone coming do? back. Here's someone what coming back. Do? Hero Squad says in Bumblecast Live of May 29th, Kyle wanted Black Doom to sing "Unknown" from ME. May Black Doom grant that wish. Oh Lord. <laughs> Wishing Ian a very, I hope your throat doesn't die. <laughs> yeah. All right. Uh, let's, let's take a look at them. You the can, you can, here. you can sub in someone else for the, uh, <laughs> or you're just your own voice for the, uh, for the chorus parts. <laughs> they asked for black doom. Well, I mean, that's a, this song's asked. longer than I remember. It's very long. Yeah. <laughs> You know, we'll we'll go for we'll go for a couple bars. That's fine. <laughs> as a sampler, you can but just uh, do... I don't. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. I do... I also I'm not sure if I can actually physically do that because Black Doom doesn't exactly have a melodic voice. 
<laughs> you're right. You're right. You, you just do his. Just do the rap parts. Just talk. Uh, oh no no no! They paid for this mini. They want to hear a train wreck. <laughs> there will be no survivors. <laughs> Full derailment. <laughs> you know what? Fine. <laughs> but we're not even going to attempt to match meter or beat on this. We're just gonna. All right. Let's see here. <laughs> Do it. Channel the inner gravel in your vocal cords. <laughs> here I come, rougher than the rest of them, best of them, tougher than leather. You can call me Knuckles. Unlike Sonic, I don't chuckle. I'd rather flex my muscles. I'm hard as nails. It ain't hard to tell. I break them down whether they solid or frail. I'm unlike the rest. I'm independent since my first breath, first fit test. Feel the right, then the worst left. How in the world are you supposed to do that legitimately? Ah, born on an island in the heavens. The blood of my ancestors flows inside me. My duty is to save the flower from evil deterioration. <laughs> Ow! <laughs> ah, ow! Yeah, is is that it? That's it. I think that's I think that's it. I think it's all you got. <laughs> I will be the one that set your heart free, true. <sighs> Cleansing yourself of the evil spirits that's in you. Streaking lights, loud sounds, and instincts are the elements that keep me going. I am fighting my own mission. Nothing's gonna stand in my way. No, no. Stop. Don't put yourself through this. <laughs> Won't be fighting now. Stand up to all the pain and turmoil. <laughs> Just believe in myself and <laughs> rely on others. Get this power to wipe out the hammock and anarchy. This is my plan. Gonna fight for my destiny. <laughs> okay. That's enough. <laughs> Thank you to your squad for sponsoring this podcast mini. If you want one of your own, head over to patreon.com slash mumblecast, <laughs> curvy.com slash mumblecast, or become a YouTube member. <laughs> be good to yourselves, be good to each other, and we will see you next time. Call in the mumblecast. <laughs>